Welcome nomads to Nomad News. I'm your host, the American Nomad, Rav Hawley. Let's get right into the news. Welcome everyone to this episode of Nomad News for Saturday, July the 10th, 2021. Without further ado, let's jump right into this first story, which is going to be a nomad that is actually a little bit under the weather, not doing too well. It's going to uh, come from a channel uh, called Life with Gina. Gina has 2.76 2760 subscribers and uh, unfortunately she's been a little bit under the weather and uh, she just wanted to let everybody know that she's not doing too well as far as feeling too well and so she's uh, running a little bit behind on her YouTube duties and everything in general and she's just kind of letting everybody know I think she might have canceling some maybe a live chat or something so i just wanted to uh report let everybody know if you follow uh gina she's a little under the weather so maybe stop by her channel over there comment give her some encouragement and uh we all hope in the nomad community that uh, gina recovers quickly and gets to feeling better and uh is on the mend so without further ado let's jump in and uh, see what gina has to say Good morning, guys. How goes it? This is going to be a short video today. I've been so sick for three days now. I have felt, I'm just now breaking my fever, I think. Um, but I, I have felt so bad not getting a video up for you guys and or doing my lives. I'm not going to be doing a live on Saturday either. Um, I am just not feeling it. Uh, I've got a stomach flu that just whooped me. Um, I haven't felt this bad in a long time, but yeah, it was a pretty harsh stomach flu. Um, I it's I haven't been able to eat or drink anything. I and it's just like I'm I'm out of it. I'm so whooped. Uh, but like I said, I felt so bad not getting a video up for you guys. I think this is the longest I've ever went without doing a video. So I wanted to get something up today, and. Um, and get back with doing my videos um, on Monday uh, try to get some videos done but um, yeah I have been sick you know I'd, I have never been sick with the stomach flu being in the van and I, I would say this it was it was actually probably better than being at sticks and bricks everything was close you know the bathrooms close I didn't have to walk very far um, uh, but yeah it, the van treated me good <laughs> And uh, it's a mess right now. The cats have, uh, haven't got to go outside for three days, which I'm going to try to get them out here in a little bit uh, for at least a couple of hours. Uh, but they've been they've been good. They're just a little impatient right now. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm still not able to eat. Um, I tried to get some crackers yesterday. I ate four or five crackers yesterday and some water. And I have had uh, 22 ounces, I think it has been of Gatorade over the last three days, but I haven't even, I, I can only sip something. It's, I just can't hardly keep it down. Um, I, but I think my fever broke this morning. I woke up from a crazy dream and, uh, sweating and my t-shirt was so wet. I had to change it. I was so soaking wet with sweat, but freezing. And I still kind of feel that way. So I'm, I think I'm in the process of breaking the fever. So uh, I don't know, just not feeling well. All right, guys, that's going to uh, do it for Gina there. Let's uh, really hope she gets to feeling better. Hope that uh, it's just a flu and she doesn't have anything any more serious than that. And uh, on to our and be sure to stop in there and tell Gina, you know, that we're all pulling for and hope she gets to feeling better. And if you like her content, be sure to subscribe. I will put a uh, link to her channel in the description down below. To our next story. All right. Okay. Who we got here? We have my old buddy, the bread trucker. So I uh, was up early this morning doing some things, trying to get prepped to do today's show here. And uh, noticed that my buddy, uh, the bread trucker, had a uh, live stream scheduled. So I set my reminder jumped into his live stream and uh, he is at a tiny house fest 
uh, in Colorado called Tiny Fest 2021. This is his channel. Uh, Paul has 55,000 subscribers. Looks like 55,500 subscribers. He's been killing it. Uh, everybody loves the bread truckers. So uh, be sure to uh, drop by Paul's channel if you don't know who he is. Subscribe to his channel and you'll find a link down in the description to his channel. So yeah, we are, uh, I'm just doing a little short live stream here. There we go. I guess that has to be in the shade. Um, doing a short live stream. I'm only going to be on here for like 20, 25 minutes, something like that. And, uh, I just wanted to give a quick update and tell where we're at. You're at tiny fest in Colorado. This is Brighton, Colorado. What's up Hornbrook, California? Richard, how you doing? Um, you're the first comment. Oh, we got 16 people watching. Sweet. If you guys wouldn't mind, smash that thumbs up button. Uh, we, uh... Hey, bro. What's up, Nomad News? Just, uh, putting the, uh, bread truck on display here. Let me show you around a little bit. This is tiny fest right over here we got a big tiny house boom that tiny house doesn't look too tiny a bunch of campers it's like a regular motorhome almost that little four-wheel drive really is cool, cool. four-wheel drive toyota i love that one that one's one of my favorite ones four by four toyota the bearded brute Port Chester, New York, saw you last year, been building mine since. Thanks. Hey, what's up, John, Randy? That's cool, Randy. So this is what we're looking at here at Tiny Fest. And then, of course, you got the bread truck. Boom. My step-band step <laughs> brother, the Anyways, bread trucker. Back to me. Get my thing. Your, your tuck looks freaking amazing, man. Thank you everybody's uh coming in right now the like the food trucks and stuff are getting set up so we came in yesterday and everybody was like that's a, that's a vendor that's not a that's not a rv or a tiny house and then some people are like no no that that is a tiny house it's a <laughs> truck yes i knew what you meant i was just being smart wow there has to be like five or six campers at tiny fest this year all right guys that is going to do it for uh, our story on the bread trucker be sure to uh stop by his channel he's a really good friend of mine so uh he's probably my best nomad friend so stop by the bread truckers channel and uh be sure to uh take a look at his content if you enjoy it subscribe tell him uh nomad news sent you and on to our uh, next story which is going to be Oh, let's see who it is. I've always heard that we had these here in British Columbia. I've just never seen one. And I was walking down to go relax in the hammock a little bit this morning, and I seen a rattlesnake. There's a rattlesnake right there. Where's he on camera here? There he is staring at us right in the face. Yeah, I see him. Look at his tail. He's a fat one. I'm not sure what kind of rattlesnake that is up there. It's got bands around them. We have southern he goes. Southern Pacific rattlesnakes here in California. And Mojave Greens. I was going to sit on the hammock, which is over there, and I get around the corner, and there's a rattlesnake right there on the trail. It was about that fat man. I was like, ooh. And then as soon as it went by, I could hear that little tail. So if you don't know who this is, this is our buddy Chrome. And uh, he is a very popular van lifer up in uh, British Columbia, Canada, I believe. He is Canadian. And uh, the name of his channel is Van City Van Life. And Chrome has got 180,000 subscribers. He is killing it. So uh, this video, July 8th, a couple of days old, he's already got 52,000 views on there. And uh, with the rattlesnake being the, in the tie, or, you know, 
I can see why. Uh, so let's see what else Chrome has to say here. So just woo. <laughs> anyway, it's day number eight here at uh, at the Redneck Body Shop, Hillbilly Customs, <laughs> whatever I've been calling it. It is hot today. I hear there's a major weather warning right now for super long, super hot days for the next two or three days, like 40, 45 degrees Celsius. Remember, 20 to 25 degrees Celsius is my summer comfort. So they're having a heat wave up there in Canada as well. 45 degrees Celsius expected starting today, tomorrow, the next day. This, my friends, is going to be brutal. So hopefully we have a productive day today. I'm still waiting for Sandra to show up. Time is up now. It's 11, it's 11 a.m. And then if we can get the heck out of here tonight, go to somewhere cooler. <laughs> it's so ridiculous out here. <laughs> and I'm sitting right here, and that's where the rattlesnake is, right behind me. So basically what Chrome is doing up here is uh, they're doing a bunch of uh, body work and repair to his van because being up in, uh, you know, up in the Great White North up there in Canada uh, with the cold weather and all the snow they get and a lot of uh, salt, I'm sure, that are on the roads, uh, it's eating his, uh, a lot of his body panels up on his van and uh, he's uh, getting that stuff cut out, replaced, and repaired. Very last day, because my time here would have been a lot worse, knowing that that thing was just cruising around waiting for my dog to make a wrong step or me. So, noticing on the last day kind of made me feel good about getting the heck out of here. But don't worry, we showed up with protection. We got that little guy. His name is Trouble. And tr So anyway, that's our buddy Chrome up there in the Great White North getting uh, his van taken care of and uh, getting all that rust off. And it looked amazing. If uh, Go to his channel. I'll link it down below in the description. Go check out this video and uh, look at the progress they made. And it looks really looks uh, they got all that rust out of it. And it looks great. He's just going to have to paint it now because it's a little spotted up like uh, anytime you do any kind of rust repair. All right, on to our next story. Oh boy, here we go. All right, yep, here we go. So, what do we have here? We have our buddy Dave, uh, probably the number one, not probably the number one nomad news channel uh, on YouTube. And, uh, you know, I don't. I just don't get. Sometimes I just don't get Dave. He's basically, uh, you know, if you watch my intro video uh, from six months ago, he was basically, you know, talking about a bunch of drama with him. You know, stirring up, stirring the pot with the co with the. I don't even want to use the, you know, the, the the thing that caused the lockdown. You can't even say it on YouTube anymore. They'll demonetize your video. So the thing that caused the lockdown for the last year, I don't even know if we can say lockdown. So he's talking about that and, uh, you know, goes off on the exact same tire or the same rant from like six months ago when he was talking about it, uh, you know, throwing Aja and pandemonium, Aja from pandemonium and all of them under the bus because they were kind of having their little uh, festivities and stuff around the holidays and he didn't approve of it. So he went on here and went on a huge rant, uh, you know, basically telling everybody they need to hurry up and go get vaccinated so we can put an end to the C or, you know, the, the, the thing that caused the lockdown and in the process, he just basically trashes, you know, pandemonium and all the nomads that went to that, those gatherings back then. But anyway, let's hear it from Dave. Yeah, I don't know, John. We did see a lot of people, uh, you know, over the last year, you know, pandemonium. Somebody made it, you know, oh, he called Aja Anchors COVID Anchors. You know, no, well, cool. you know, it was last September and we were seeing all these people with no masks on and no socially distancing and they're all partying and having rave parties and having, you know, burgers and fries and gloppy food and going to restaurants and huddled together. We we're seeing all that go on and you're like, and we know that some of those people had to get sick from all that, you know. Wait a minute. How do you know how they got sick from all that? 
It, do you know that for a fact, or are you just speculating? You just said you know. You have to know that some of those people got sick. Who got sick? Who got? Who went to the hospital? How many people died? Because you made a big deal of it, Dave, back then when it happened, and you're still making a big deal of it. And you're out there telling everybody that they need to get vaccinated. They need to hurry up and go get vaccinated. Just do it. If you watch this video, he's telling everybody, just do it. Just go get vaccinated. Number one, I think most people are adults. If you want to get back, this, this is my take on it. If you're an adult, if you want to get vaccinated, get vaccinated. Uh, if you've had COVID, I don't know that you, you know, I mean, basically, if you've had COVID, you've been vaccinated because you have antibodies. Another thing is I was watching his chat and some lady was saying, oh, yeah, I, I went out just as soon as I could get vaccinated. I got vaccinated like in January or I can't remember, November of last year or something like that. And I put it together and, you know, that's six months ago, which is, you know, the vaccine only lasts like six months. So her vaccine is, you know, supposed least expired you know we really don't know they don't they actually don't know how long these vaccines are going to work if you need a booster so you know it's just uh i think it's a little uh and the other thing is, is this vaccine is not even approved by the fda and now there's a new cdc warning about this about it uh causing heart inflammation so the other thing people don't realize and i've talked about this on my other channel and on my podcast is you're basically the test you're the test person you're, you're the lab rat for this vaccine. If you don't know how that works, that's how it works. They use, they put it out to the public to see if there's going to be any major adverse effects. We might find out in a year that it causes some kind of heart disease and heart inflammation that kills everybody in five years. Be a lot of dead people. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, my thing is, if you want to get vaccinated, get vaccinated. If you don't want to get vaccinated, don't get vaccinated. You're an adult. Make your own mind up. And I'm not going to persuade you either way it's up to you mm, that's what they were doing and now so i think i i was a very uh pre precipient press whatever the word is we could we called it aja we called it panda we called it covid acres because they, they weren't even they were just flaunting all the different you know recommendations which i thought was somewhat irresponsible if that's the case what happened to them dave to what happened to them are they all dead did they all die? They were so irresponsible and having a good time for the holidays. How many people were in the hospital? There's a lot of, there were a lot of older nomads up there, Dave. How many of them, you need to report that. You need to, you need to let everybody know in the nomad community, how many people from that gathering, because you trashed them then, you're still trashing them. So how many people were hospital, how many people in that group, Aja's group, how many people were hospitalized and how many people died? You need to find that out. And if you can't find it out, you need, and if you find out there was nobody, then you need to have a big bag of shut up. up. Oh my goodness. The Omega COVID. I don't know. Fantastic journey. There are so many things that people were saying, take your vitamin D, do this, do that. You know, I don't know, you know, type different blood types, whatever. Ether Bunny got the Moderna. Good. Yeah, I got my Pfizer's in uh, one first. The first shot was in March, and the second one was in April. So, uh, and I did go up to the D.C. area between shots. And, you know, I did feel a little bit protected, but. So basically what he's saying, he said he got his first shot in March. So what is he's almost six? He's almost expired. It's six months. The six month, uh, you know, if it lasts six months, he's almost, uh, you know, run his uh, run his course on his vaccine. But they say you need both leaves for vaccine participation that voters. It is interesting, Beauregard, pretty much if you look at counties that Biden won, that they, they have like 70 to 80 percent vaccine rates. Whereas if you look at counties that Trump won, they're down at 30 and 40 percent. Yeah, it's all those dumb Trump's. Trump supporters, you know, that's, it's, uh, okay. Uh, that's enough of that. going to get me riled up and, uh, there's no politics for me on this channel. So let's, uh, jump into our next story. So this one's a fun one. Let's get out of the, let's get out of the, let's get out of that other stuff and let's get back into the fun stuff. This next story is my buddy, Mr. Captain Jack Scrapper, a good, good buddy of mine, and uh, he was having a live stream as well this morning, and I dropped in. I haven't talked to him in months. Dropped in to see how he's doing and just wanted to say hi. 
he's got like a little game going. Uh, I tried to, uh, uh, hopefully I was part of the inspiration for him getting out there on YouTube uh, back when I was starting out doing my live feeds and now he's he's got him a mic and everything and he's got it going on he's got him a little uh game that they play that he changes his background and people have to ask uh guess who's what nomad uh video or or whose background that is uh he puts the uh answers all down in the description and somebody's got to pick it out and they ha they look like they were having a good time so uh let's see what jack has to say here we're not going to spend long on here, but I just wanted to, uh, let's see, Jack's got 862 subscribers too. So uh, be sure to jump over to Captain Jack's channel. I'm going to link it in the description. Let's see if we can get him up to a thousand. He's such a good guy. All right, let's see what Jack has to say. KT Spirit One, welcome aboard. No bad news. Oh my gosh, Rev. Oh my. It is great to have you aboard. Man, it's been a while. Been a while. Are you uh, still out in uh, L.A. doing uh, work for the movies or the TV shows? Frederick Heron's here. <laughs> Welcome aboard, bud. Uh, one of my collaborators, uh, guest, uh, uh, that the featured channel today is Blue Wave Odyssey. And guess what? It's not. <laughs> Let me change the background here. I'm doing great, uh, Rav. Nomad News. Hey, people, if you don't have Nomad News, I don't know what your problem is. So write it down, click on them, do whatever you got to do, but <laughs> you, you will enjoy you will enjoy nomad news all right thank you jack uh captain jack i really appreciate that man you're you're such a good guy you guys be sure to go down to um uh, the description hit the link to captain jack's channel go over there and subscribe give him some love tell him that uh you found his channel through nomad news and on to our very last story of the uh, of this episode, and we're going to, uh, oh man, it is, you know, it is this year. Uh, this summer has been hot. Like in my office right now, I'm in an air-conditioned office building, and it's a little bit, it's not that cool in here. I mean, it's it's not bad, you know, could be a lot, lot worse, but, you know, it's usually a lot cooler seems in here than it is right now. But anyway, let's jump over to this, our last story here. All right, our last story here, uh, it's too hot for this van life driving vlog. So this channel is Lost Renegades. They have 9,300 9, subscribers, 9,130 subscribers maybe. Uh, yeah, channel. this channel is not a channel that I'm familiar with. I wasn't familiar with them, uh, but uh, you know, stumbled onto it and Come to find out they're in Vegas, uh, which this time of year is the last place as a nomad that you want to be uh, van dwelling is in Vegas. Uh, I used to live in Joshua Tree when I was getting out of my house in 2015, 2016, whenever it was. Uh, it was 112 degrees the week I was moving out of my house into my RV to start van life. And at that time, my RV did not have an air conditioner on it. I had to get it installed and had to get a generator. And so I spent a week in 112 degree weather every day with no air conditioning, moving everything into my RV. And it was one of the most miserable weeks of my life. So I absolutely understand what, uh, and absolutely understand what uh, the Lost Renegades are going through here, uh, being in Vegas. And evidently, they were in they were in San Diego. They should have stayed in San Diego, but uh, I guess they headed over to uh, Vegas, and now maybe they're going to venture up to Colorado. But without further ado, let's see what they have to say. We left Las Vegas yesterday, and uh, it was 108 degrees when we left. It was awful. We are in Utah now, making our way, I think, to Colorado to try and get some cooler weather. It's rough, people. It is, the struggle is real. 
No toast this morning. We're going yogurt. Oh my god, all we want is toast too. Like literally all we want is toast. Gotta go yogurt. Try and beat the heat. Maybe if we get up earlier tomorrow, like before the sun comes up, we'll have toast. We didn't report ourselves to but uh toast. might be yogurt for the next couple of days. Mako and Opie chilling. Jen getting breakfast going. I think today is gonna be a driving day. You have anything to say to the world? So, so. Which we stayed in San Diego is perfect weather. But I'm doing yogurt. I'm having froyo this morning. It is frozen. Not complaining at all. That's how you cool down in the heat. My yogurt on the other hand is not frozen, but it's delicious. <laughs> Get it? It's so delicious. Oh. <laughs> Hi, boys. All right, guys. That's going to do it. The Lost Renegades. Uh, I feel for them, man. Uh, and they have a couple of dogs, if you didn't see. The last shot is of their two puppies there. So, you know, that's a big... Big worry, big concern when your uh, van dwelling is not even so much for yourself. Sometimes it is for your puppies, your dogs. Uh, if you're if you don't have animals, you can pretty much uh, you know abandon ship. You know, uh, I've I've had to do that on you know a few occasions and go you know hang out at the Walmart or you know a mall or whatever someplace where I could get cooler. So you know, but if you have animals, you can't leave them in the rig and you know you go inside. It's just not kind of it's not fair. And then you worry about your animals. Uh, leaving them in a hot vehicle is just not a it's not a good thing to do either. Uh, no matter how much you open it up uh, when it's that hot. But anyway, they're headed up, uh, I guess they're in Utah now. We're in Vegas, got to Utah, headed up to, hopefully to Colorado. Uh, maybe they'll meet up uh, or head up to Tiny Fest and meet up with a Mr. Paul Barger in Colorado. And uh, I think Paul said he's going to head back up into the mountains afterwards and, you know, back up, get up to elevation where it's a lot cooler, which is a very smart thing to do, nomads. If you're down in a desert like Nevada or the Mojave or Death Valley or anywhere, if you get up to Colorado, you get up at elevation or even here in California, too, you can go up uh, to, to uh, Mount Baldy. You know, that's up about 10,000 feet. You know, I don't know what the elevation is where you park. It's probably about six, five or six. But it's a lot cooler up there when you get the elevation. Uh, it stays a lot cooler up in the mountains. So uh, that's something to think about. Or, uh, you know, that's why I stay here because I'm not too far from the beach. And when you're really close to the beach, you get that cooler water coming off the water. <laughs> you get that cooler water. You get that cooler air coming off the water and uh, keeps you cool. So uh, I used to live in downtown Long Beach, though, and a lot of people in California, Southern California, do not have uh, air conditioning in their places. So I had an apartment... Uh, had no air conditioner the, the whole time i lived in long beach i only lived in one loft that had air conditioning and if i ran my air conditioner i'd have a four or five hundred dollar bill because i had like 20 foot ceilings so you know it was one of those deals but anyway there's a lot of nomads dealing with the heat this year not just uh you know, it's not just the Lost Renegades, a lot of them. But anyway, if you uh, want to check out the rest of Lost Renegades uh, video, I'm going to put it down in the description, a link to their video, a rest, uh, along with the rest of the videos in this episode of Nomad News. And uh, you can drop by, leave them a comment, tell them that you found them through Nomad News. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this Saturday edition of Nomad News. I hope everybody has a beautiful weekend. And remember, everything you've ever wanted is sitting right on the other side of fear. Peace, guys. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Try to stay cool.